Welcome to the Nourish and Restore practice. I am Janet Stone. I am a global ambassador with Lululemon. So happy to share what it is that I do when my nervous system feels a little bit tapped out, rolling out of bed, rolling onto the floor, and really setting down ways in which I can calm my adrenals, nervous system, and settle down into a place of deep trust and safety. So come along and join me. And let's begin a restorative practice. I call this nourish and restore as we have some movement, some fluidity that we bring in, really places to get into the kidneys, the adrenal band, and then also with the breath, the pituitary that sends all the messages to regulate. And right now, if we're tuned into the news, or like me living with two teen daughters who are cooped up, we need some moments and places to rest. If possible, I have two blankets. Maybe you have a bolster. Maybe you're that fancy. I don't know. Maybe you've got some pillows or couch pillows nearby. You can use those. If you have an eye pillow, that's also kind of fancy. Maybe you just have a scarf. Something you can place over your eyes toward the end. I have two blocks. Um, maybe you've got something like that. Maybe not. It would be nice if you had something to elevate. Maybe you find some big, thick books. So let's go ahead and come on to a mat or on the floor. You don't even need a mat, that's fine. And we'll come forward onto our hands and our knees. And just in this moment, getting a connection through the spine. So we're gonna take the tailbone and make circular motions. Like you're trying to draw on one of those Zen boards with just the sacrum. So yeah, your family might think you're crazy, but, or if you're alone, maybe you're a cat. The cat will understand, by the way. Big circles to the left. So just pull breath all the way into the low spine. Let's free up some of that compression and tension. Change directions again. And let's widen that circle so maybe we make it even bigger. Again, as if you're drawing in the sand so your low back is now involved and you can feel the core, the low belly and then even make it bigger. So now your upper back, your scapula are moving this way and that. And maybe you can even feel a little fluidity and space in and around the ribs. We're in a moment where the lungs are, we're recognizing how precious they are. They're functioning, their movements, so give them full attention. Beautiful, and let's slow it down. Come back and sit on your heels. If that's too much for you, you can sit on something between the feet. That's fine as well. Go ahead and reach the left fingertips into the earth. Bring the right arm level with the right shoulder. Drop the left ear to the left shoulder. So reach the right fingertips away. If it's easier for you to have it down on the ground, that's a different variation as well, getting through the sides of the neck. So much tension from thought through the neck. So again, either low, medium, or spin the palm up as well as another option to floss out through the inner line of the arm. Stay here, swoop that up and over. Get a big side body breath. And we'll slowly release it out. Let's change sides, right fingertips root. Left arm can either be in the ground or reaching out to the left, right ear to the right shoulder, here or palm up. Reach your fingers far, far, far. Breathing all the way through the back, the sides and the neck. And then let's scoop it up and over. And we'll come back towards center. Take the hands back behind, interlace the fingers. Let's lift the heart up a little bit, pull the fingers down. And then we'll look back towards center, pull the low ribs in. Take that interlace over the left hip, flare the elbows out. Again, left ear to the left shoulder. With phones and with computers these days, and I think everyone's quadrupled their time on these devices maybe. We want to unwind some of those tension patterns. Slowly come on up. Let's change. Hands over to that right hip. Drop the right ear to the right shoulder. We'll come back through center. Release the fingers out. Take the fingers to the space between the eyebrows, all the way on the forehead. 
push in for a moment, maybe just move the fingers a little, and then slowly press and pull the fingers open to the temples. So, so if you're pulling some of those thoughts that tend to congest in this area, the worries that feel like a dog chasing her tail, we often call it monkey mind, and then pulling it open. Yes, last one. And then take the fingers to the cheekbones and you'll release the jaw, pull the fingers down, open the mouth, rub through the jaw. So the pointer fingers in particular are pulling down. So back to the cheekbones, draw it down. And last one. Yeah, perfect. Interlace the fingers, push the palms forward, back of the heart opens back, opens open, chin into the chest. Inhale, reach the palms up. If that's too much, just come part way. Otherwise, push up to the sky. And again, forward. And then again, up. And forward. And up. Forward. And up. One more. Forward. And up. Release it out, reach the hands down. Let's come onto the hands and the knees. From hands and the knees, if you can, take that right leg open to the right. It looks a little bit like a kickstand. You pull that right elbow up, almost like you're trying to wind up the right shoulder. And then as the left hand walks forward, just thread that right arm underneath the left. Breathe across the shoulder, pull that left hip in. Just a few breaths here. If you want to add a bigger twist, push the left fingertips down, look toward the left, or just stay. Beautiful, unwind it. Let's come on up, walk the hands up, and then resting on that left shin, that left knee, spin the toes open to the right. We'll bend the right knee, bringing the hands to the heart. So we exhale, fingertips go down reach out wide, let's lift out of the right hip to reach the arms up, and then bring the hands down the center and sink in. Couple more, inhale, and down the center. And inhale, and down the center. We'll straighten out the right leg, reach the right hand onto the thigh or onto the shin, left arm extends up and over. And come back through center. We'll place the hands down again toward the top of the mat. Let's heel toe that right foot in. We'll stay on the fingertips if you've got the space and just make big circles here. This breath in and around that right hip again, right? Really trying to get rid of some of the tension and um, locked spaces in there from sitting, so much sitting. And then we'll lean that right knee out, sink the left thigh down. You can keep the left hand rooted and take the right arm open to the sky. Stay here. You can push the right hand on that upper right hip. You can stay here or have that left elbow down. Just yawn open through the side body. Beautiful. And releasing it out. Let's go back hands and knees. We'll extend that left leg out toward the left. Pull that left elbow up, the left arm up, and then slide it as you walk that right hand forward. So side to side here, a few breaths. Last couple breaths if you're adding that little extra twist. And slowly unwind it, come on up. So in that, we're trying to get, again, that kidney band. Spin the left toes to the left, bend the left knee, hands to prayer. Bring the hands down, lift out of the left hip, up and around. We'll come through two more. And down. Straighten out the left leg, left hand on that left shin, up and over, big breath in space. 
and slowly come on up. Let's bring both knees down, hands down. We'll heel toe that left foot outside the left hand and make the circles here. If you can, just bring the suppleness through the spine around that left hip. You roll on the outer edge of the left foot. You can stay here, just lean into the right hand, a little open of the left shoulder, or find your variation here. Two more breaths. Beautiful, slowly bring the hands down. We'll come back to hands and knees. Open the knees. If you've got your pillows anywhere, knees are open. Pull them up toward the low belly. We'll come into a supported child's pose. Whatever variation you can find here, as you fold in, I'm gonna roll up the end of my top blanket and give myself a little place to rest. So you wanna be able to fully rest and release here. You need to add some blankets. Give yourself a moment. Let the elbows go heavy, the back body go heavy. And just listen to the rhythm of the breath. the doing, trying to figure, trying to manage, just pour that into the ground, worrying about the world, worrying about your household, and all the places in between, just melt that for a moment, be with your breath, in the scan, watching the breath move in where it fills up. Watching the breath move out where it empties into. Three more breaths here. The low back ribs take a deep breath into the space. See if you can puff it up a little bit, sip it in, open the mouth. Beautiful, slowly come on up. We'll come into a hip opener, so you can cross the ankles back behind you. You can either come into supported pigeon, you can keep the elevation underneath the chest, or you can bring that right ankle on top of the left knee for double pigeon. People have their various preferences. If you don't know either of them, then you're probably in good luck. For the double pigeon, you want that left shin underneath the right, but mostly you just want to find some openness and breath through the hips for what we're up to here. I'm going to add blankets so that I don't feel strained. I kind of want to feel like I can take a nap here. Maybe I'll place a block underneath that right knee so it doesn't hang in space. I can also take a block if my head wants to rest on it, if you can fold in at all. Thread the needle is more your thing, come on your back. Bring that right ankle on top of the left knee and just draw the left knee in. Otherwise, we'll just take a few breaths here. The exhales go longer. So really giving them more attention. It doesn't have to be hard exhale, but just a longer exhale. Last one here. And 
will come on up. You can always stay longer and we'll change legs. So that means if you're in pigeon, other foot is forward. If you're in double pigeon, which is here, you'll bring that left ankle on top. So find how you can support yourself here. Feel like you can rest here for a while. Wash the breath in and through the hips. Give the hips lots of love and breath all the way into the low back. On those exhales, whatever you're carrying in there, just long exhale, maybe see if you can pour it out, not carry it anymore. two breaths but melting 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 in the exhales and when we talk about um, trust slowly come on up I'm not talking trust that everything's gonna work out your way I'm talking about a deeper trust we'll take whatever it is elevating you we'll bring it long way on the mat yeah. So it's a long way to the spine. I'm going to pull this all the way up to my low back. I've got some space in my hips, so I'll bring the base of the feet together and the knees open. Some of you might want to have the feet on the ground with the knees together. But I'm going to come back into supported Sukta Bhattakasana. So come back. Maybe the head wants to find a little bit of an elevation. I'll be here. You guys can find your variation. I'll show you from the side. And here is when you can stay for quite some time, find your scarf, or if you happen to magically have an eye pillow. Those of you do maybe more restorative practices, and set it on. You can have your heart opening to the back, the sides, the front, once you arrive here, just give yourself this opportunity to fully rest and trust. When I talk about trusting something more vast, bigger than this moment, as if we can expand out this wide view, a view from space, but not only going back, but going through time time before us, time after us, trust in a wider viewpoint, seeing the many stories play out, the arcs, in this moment rest your cells, rest your skin, your muscles, your bones, almost like the frontal lobe of the brain can rest back into the pool in the back of the skull. You pour in all of your managing, your controlling, your figuring, calculating. Rest into a still pool in the back of the brain. And all you hear is a whisper of an inhale and exhale. Hear the hint of your heartbeat blood rushing through the systems. As you take a complete scan of your body, scalp, forehead, the ears, the eyes, the nose jaw, lips, and mouth. Scan through the throat. 
throat, the shoulders and chest. Scanning attention along the ribs, the belly, the low belly, pelvic bowl, legs, upper legs, lower legs, ankles, feet. Pushing attention along the back body as well, back of the head, back of the neck, upper back, mid back, low back, the glutes, backs of the legs, behind the knees, the calves, the heels, the base of the feet. choose to simply stay here let yourself rest here as long as possible bring your knees together rolling to your side and slowly come seated a calm a rest in the mind body Remembering our interconnectedness to all living things, tending this ecosystem here allows us to tend the ecosystem around us, from family to neighbors to communities to all the way around the globe. Thank you for trusting your time with me, for taking a moment. Thank you.